Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build this birdhouse and my objective here is to make it as easy as possible with the fewest cuts and the fewest number of tools needed. So as you can see it's it is pretty simple uh, but it does have some ventilation which I think is important and otherwise it goes together pretty easy. Here's the minimal amount of tools you'll need to build this birdhouse. You'll need a saw, and here I show a hand saw, but you, there's a many other options you could use. You also need a straight edge, such as a square. You'll need some screws and a screwdriver to hold it together, although wood glue could be used. But I recommend using at least screws to hold on one panel so that you can open it up and clean it out. You also need a measuring device like a ruler and a pencil to mark and you'll need a drill to drill the hole for the entrance and if you use screws you'll probably want to pre-drill the holes for those screws. First step is to create the sides of the birdhouse. Here I'm measuring 11 and a half inches. And then I'll use my square to create a 15 degree angle. So that creates a slope on the roof of the birdhouse so that the water will run off. Here I'm cutting the board where I marked the 15 degree angle and that's going to give me the right dimensions for one side of the birdhouse. I'm using the first side of the birdhouse to mark the second side of the birdhouse and the 15 degree angle was already in the remaining board because I just cut it from there. Now I'm going to create the back of the birdhouse. I'm going to measure 14 inches, which will extend the back a little higher than the rest of the birdhouse. This, this will make it easy for attaching to a post or a tree or some other way of mounting it. And again, I simply cut along the line that I drew. This will be the front of the birdhouse. It is 10 inches and one quarter. The bottom of the birdhouse is five and one quarter. The top of the birdhouse is eight inches and five sixteenths. And I'm also going to draw a 15 degree angle on the side of the board, which will match the back of the birdhouse. That way it won't leave a gap between the roof and the back of the birdhouse and this will prevent water from getting inside. I'm cutting the roof of the birdhouse along this 15 degree angle that I marked on the side. This will give the correct bevel to match the back of the birdhouse. Here I'm marking the center of the hole for the entrance and I'm measuring about one and three quarters inches from the top and centering it 
left to right. And I'm also using a one and one quarter inch diameter drill bit, but you can choose different sizes depending on what kind of bird you want to stay in this house. This is an optional step, but it's nice for the baby birds to have a way to climb out. So here I'm marking one half increments so that I can cut slots in this board and that'll act like a ladder for the baby birds or even the adult birds. This is the, the six pieces needed to create the birdhouse. So now the only step left is to connect them together. Here I'm using some one inch brass screws uh, to fasten the pieces together. Brass doesn't rust and it also makes it look nice compared to the color of the wood. Also, I'm pre-drilling these holes so that it will not split out the wood. Here's the finished birdhouse and you can see that there are some places where air can get inside and that keeps uh, the air moving and ventilated inside uh, so the birds don't get too hot. And anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and hope you try to make one yourself.